I'm Chase Briscoe, driver number 14 Ford Mustang for Stuart Haas Racing, and you're watching William Blackwell on YouTube. We now head into the month of June. The NASCAR Cup Series silly season is now starting to heat up as we're having drivers move left and right. But this all started at the beginning of the year when Kevin Harvick, a longtime successful driver of the sport, announced that he was going to retire from full-time racing at the end of the 2023 season and hang up his helmet, but instead put on a headset as he will call the races for Fox Sports alongside his longtime teammate and longtime friend, Clint Boyer. They raced with each other at RCR, Richard Childress Racing, and SHR, Stuart Haas Racing. Uh, they're great friends. I'm sure they're going to be very entertaining. And he's also going to be paired up with Mike Joy. Mike Joy is phenomenal. This is going to be a fun group to watch. But enough said there. But as soon as Kevin Harvick announced that he's going to retire from full-time racing, talk immediately started on potential drivers that are going to replace him. A lot of people looked at cup drivers that are on their final season of contract, like Martin Truex Jr., Denny Hamlin, uh, a couple of others like Justin Haley, and Alex Bowman and Ross Chastain and Daniel Suarez. But all those ships have practically sailed at this point in time. And in the Xfinity side of things, you got Cole Custer and Riley Herbst. And besides that, there's really not that much promising drivers from the Ford campaign right now. So they had to get out their comfort zone. And what they did was look into other manufactured drivers. And one of them happened to be Josh Berry. Josh Berry, races for Junior Motorsports, and when Chase Elliott broke his leg at the beginning of the year, he got to call up the race to nine car. He did a phenomenal job, got a runner up in Richmond. And then a couple of weeks later, when he was back racing in Xfinity, when Elliott returned, he got to call again that Alex Bowman broke his back and he had to race the 48 car. And he did a good job there. And uh, he did a good enough job to catch Tony Stewart and Gene Haas' attention and uh, he's going to be in the four car for the 2024 season and beyond. I am glad he's got that going. But now, the silly season is not done yet for Stuart Haas Racing because Eric Amarola is still a thing. And it's going to be interesting to see what happens there. Eric Amarola, at the beginning of the 2022 season, announced that he was going to retire. But throughout the season... He was starting to become more convinced that this next-gen car may be the type of car that makes him a true contender. So at the end of the year, he got into talks with Smithfield and Tony Stewart and Gene Haas, and they all thought it was best to return in 2023. And oh boy, let me tell you, that was a major mistake. But though, I believe this is going to be it for Eric Amarola. And it's pretty much a two-horse race, in my own opinion, on who's going to replace him in that TIG car for the 2024 season. But what's going to be interesting here, folks, is contracts. Uh, because I believe the final two drivers for this ride is going to be both from front row, one being Michael McDowell. He's racing the 34 car on a weekly basis. He won the 2021 Daytona 500 fastest career highlight. And the other driver is Zane Smith, the 2022 NASCAR Camping World Truck Series champion. Uh, and he's got many race wins in the Truck Series. And he got a top 10 finish at the Coca-Cola 600 in 2023. But the only thing, Zane Smith is a good driver. But the only thing that's holding him back from pretty much being a slam dunk at this point in time is that he's under contract with Front Row in 2024. Because this past all season, he signed a two-year deal with them to race in the Cup Series, Xfinity Series, and also the Truck Series. The Cup Series, he's doing good. The Xfinity Series, he hasn't really tried at all. I don't know where Front Row is going to get an Xfinity program started. I, it is mind-blowing, and it seems like it's dying down day by day. But he's also doing good in the Truck Series. But, though, uh, Michael McDowell, on the other hand, has raced with uh, Drew Blankenster, who is a crew chief of Eric Amarola. So that may be a thing to look at. But at the end of the day, though, Stuart Haas Racing is, wanna, is gonna wanna go after a driver that's gonna be with them for many years to come. Let's be honest, folks. Josh Berry is up there in age. He's not gonna be 
in the Cup Series for 20 plus years. Uh, Chase Briscoe, on the other hand, very well may be. Ryan Priest, not really going to happen. So they're going to have to go with someone young. And that driver could very well be Zane Smith. Uh, he's promising uh, and it makes a lot of sense. But if they're going to do that, they're going to have to spend a lot of money to buy his contract with Front Row. Or they can just buy the punt front row with uh, a good alliance. I don't know. It's going to be interesting. But at the end of the day, though, they're going to do have to do what is best for the company. And I believe they're going to go buy out Zane Smith's contract and put him in that number 10 car for the 2024 season and beyond. Michael McDowell is going to stay at front row and Todd Gillen will also. But everybody, though, remember to please like and subscribe and comment down below on what you think is going to happen come 2024 in a number 10 car. I am very curious to know. Everybody have a great day. I'll see you guys tomorrow.